So we had Black Friday weekend and we didn't know what to expect. We knew it would be a busier day than usual, but we didn't realize how busy. I get in and I see a couple people in the parking lot and I'm like, yeah, there's gonna be a little bit of a swarm at first. And uh, lo and behold, one of my kids that works for me comes in and goes, Rob, you gotta go check out outside. So I go out there and there's like a line around the corner. I'm like, today's just gonna be epic. And it never stopped. Thank you for this, man. <laughs> Does it go out? <laughs> yeah, it goes around the block. That What's happening, man? What's happening, guys? Thank you guys so much. Hey, how long have you been here, bro? <laughs> How are you? Doing fine, man. Give us, okay, we got to open, dude. The lines to the corner. Sounds like it literally is at the corner. One of the great things about the holidays is it brings people together. Whether these folks are already in town or coming in from out of town, they just seem to end up here. So we're from Virginia and my cousin that lives out here in LA told us about cards and how they're a super big thing and he said that this is the best spot to come and find cards. Yep. So that's why we're here. Black Friday deals, man. This is for you too. Oh my god, a mosaic pack. 2021. Tell you they're visiting from Virginia. From Virginia? What part of Virginia? Uh, Northern Virginia, just oh. outside DC. Oh, okay. Yep. Had you heard of this store before? Uh, not really. Cards aren't that big in Virginia. Our relatives. Really? Yeah. But hmm. we're gonna make it big because we're gonna go back and we're gonna get deals and all this stuff. Nice. Virginia. That's nice. Plan. So you're gonna spread the word about Bird Night Sports Cards? Yep, for sure. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I've heard of it from him. Nice. I, thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. Much appreciated, man. It's my best advertisement, it's always word of mouth. Yeah. You'll come and see us again? For sure. Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay. All right. Appreciate that. Well, enjoy the store, okay? Thank you. Man. Thank you. Got it. Love it, man. What a crazy day this is going to be. So this family comes in and they're looking around. The kid's having a good time. And the dad was like six foot eight. And man, he looks like an athlete. And it ends up that he was pitcher Jason Hirsch. And he played in the early to mid 90s, was a pitcher for the Rockies. And they'd come into town for the holidays and wanted to show the kid where he used to shop when he was younger. Oh, maybe five autos in your back. Yeah, because those are young guys that might come up. Hi, right, Rob, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. Okay. At the bottom it says, in order to enter, it says no purchase necessary, but for some reason, if you want to be a Canadian to enter, you have to include an answer to this math question. What's the math what? question? It's 16 times 3 plus 32 minus 8 equals what? And then you can 72. be entered. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're good at math. That's great. Yeah. But, but apparently Canadians are not. But They're obviously trying to get around something. I just yeah, don't know I just, what. I don't, I've like, never seen them. I, I bet you it's not on hockey cards. So instead of 2018 off the door for you. Oh, it's 18 bucks? All right. baseball, 10% off the door. Okay. Because he's a kid, though. Oh, okay. perfect, even better. Okay, thank you so You'll learn about the government one day. You have a great day, okay? <laughs> My name is Jason Hirsch, former uh, Houston Astro, Colorado Rocky. I actually grew up here in Burbank, and so this is you know, the last remaining uh, card store in my hometown. And these are my boys. This is uh, Brady over here. Hi. And this is Hudson over here. I live in Colorado now. We're in town visiting, and they wanted to come by and check out the store. So I got a Justin Herbert rookie card. Absolute baseball. Uh, Mosaic 2020. What'd you get, honey? I, I got a Topps 2020 Baseball t Series 2. All right, very cool. And what did you guys think about the store? I like it. I it's definitely cool. recommend coming here if you have the chance. There's a lot of stuff to look at. You don't have you don't have enough time to see everything that's in there or what's next door. So. And the big question is, does Rob have any of your cards in stock? He does. He's actually got one that I don't have, so I'm going to have to go online and buy it from the store. So 
uh, nobody go online and buy the, the green parallel of, or the, the, the green whatever insert card of mine because uh, that's going to be mine. Check this out. Ryan just told me to put this in the showcase. So we have this customer named Joe, and he had told us earlier about his nephew who had been going through cancer and really having a rough time, and uh, that he wanted to bring him in the store. And I'm like, we'd love to have him in. So Black Friday weekend, Joe shows up with Caden, and Caden's looking around, and I was introduced to him, and just this sweet little kid. I'd heard he'd gone into remission, that he fought really hard, and we wanted to do something special, so I kind of go up to him, I'm like, I tell you what, you know what I want to do for you? I want to give you, don't tell any other kids, I want to give you $100 to spend any way that you want to spend it in the store, okay? So you take your time, you take a look, okay? That's from the card father, okay? Awesome. You go enjoy yourself, Hayden, awesome. okay? eyes just lit up and he ended up getting a really cool Bellinger and some packs and it really made our day to see him smile like that. Did he just give you some money to go spend in here? So would it be okay if we followed you around and you can show us what you're looking at and then maybe at the end of the day you can tell us what you spend it on? Yeah. Is that cool? cool? Let's All go right. find some more stuff. You want to tell me about that card? Who is that? Cody Ballinger. And is he your favorite player? And do you like following the Dodgers? Are they one of your favorite teams? Yeah. Very cool. And then will you hold out that card again and show us which one it is? All right, man. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Appreciate that was, it. That was fantastic. Yeah, man. Good to meet you. All right. We'll see you guys. All right. See ya. Okay, where do you want us? Right here, just yeah. have a conversation? And you can de demask. Yes. Oh no, you can put that. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> Three, two, one. So we've had lots of employees over the years. A few of them just kind of stand out, and uh, Ernie's certainly one of those. He was one of my first employees back in the day. I was in my early 20s, and I was hiring kids, and he was maybe 14, 15 years old, and he was there for six, seven years, became our guy that did the shipping, kind of part of the family. Dude, so, Ernie, 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 how long have I known you now? I was, uh, I was like five years old when you hired me. <laughs> Child labor laws didn't apply here. Yeah, yeah. Did not never apply. Never, never, no, never, no. never. But your parents paid me good money <laughs> to keep you off the street. So, yeah, you're one of the originals. Yeah. Um, I think I was the third you hired. Yeah, you were right there. There was Marco, Tony. No, Tony. No, Tony was I think a little later actually. Um, That's what I was saying. Yeah, no, Tony's younger. I don't know. There's a it, there's a lineage here of yeah. hundreds Ernie, of people. You were number two. No, yeah, he's still number two, but not number two. <laughs> You're number two, but not number two. Yes, it is. Not but you'll always be number two in our hearts. I know. And that's why I love you, old man. <laughs> so now you were at the original original shop. Yeah. This, people think that this is our first shop, but yeah. our first shop um, actually was opened in 74, yeah. so we bought the business in 89, my father, myself, my mother, in April, and we started hiring people, and over the years, we've hired hundreds of people. But this dude right here, there's employees that make an impact, where they're, whether they're there for a long time or whether they're a bigger pain in the ass, maybe the most, and... Eight um, years and biggest pain. Eight years and, so yeah, how do you forget this guy? So what was your first role there? I remember the first thing I did, I was sitting in the very back room where the cockroaches were and I was breaking down 90 pro set hockey. Wow. And uh, and I was making $3 an hour cash. Uh, you know. Cash. What you got to remember is we're dealing with nickel and dime cards at the time. Yeah. So, you know, it wasn't like $100 cards were flying every single day. So it was a whole different game. But what started happening is we started doing mail order and this was in the the mid-ish 90s where we were doing more and more of it and he got promoted to kind of handling 
the mail order section. And what we did is we started noticing the uh, in the back of magazines they had business cards, mm -hmm. and so I said we need to put you know want we I was the wantless specialist. That yeah. was my title actually. I still have a business card. Right. And uh, wow. we started putting that in there. Next thing we knew, we were getting want lists from Japan and Austria, Germany, everywhere. It was crazy, and yeah, it was crazy back all then. All for five dollars an hour. Five dollars, yeah. dude. The generosity never ceases to amaze. The funny thing is, like, this was before like fax machines became relevant, and there was no computers whatsoever. So mail order was a different kind of beast. So it could literally be almost three weeks from the time someone's the writing down yeah. what they want to them getting the cards. And so when the internet came that changed everything where everything they were placing an order for they actually wanted yeah. but you think about how archaic what we were doing back then was but that was normal eventually you're at an age where like you know five bucks an hour might not have been good enough for you <laughs> so you, you know you moved on so what, what was the first thing you did after leaving me I went to college and um I went to college, I was there for six years. I did a bachelor's and two master's degrees and wow. then, uh, went into teaching. It was kind of cool that uh, now he's a teacher at Burbank High, which I find almost impossible to believe that he is allowed to teach children. This was this knucklehead that I remember being in his teens and he's been teaching for like 17, 18 years now. And uh, I have to say, um, I learned more from you and your old man than I did in six years of, of college. This is a university here for kids and you know, I hope you better hire my oldest. <laughs> I want the second one. <laughs> I don't, you can, I've you learned with the old. Both. I've you learned with both. the oldest ones, man. It's always the second one you want. <laughs> That's too funny, dude. Love you, brother. So love you too, Robbie. It's just cool that you walked in on us here. Yeah. All right, man. Don't be a stranger. And when your kids are ready to start working, we'll see what we can do. Okay? You can take them today. No, I don't want them today. I don't want them today. Card father out. <laughs>
There was no breaks. He, he, he peed twice and he had a five minute lunch. That was about right, Dad, huh? <laughs> if, if that much. If that much. Ah. That was ridiculous. Well, your idea turned out really good, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. We might even be able to do this. No, I'm not like thinking it. about something. So it's He's okay. thinking about something. Yeah, I see the I see the smoke. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was good. I yeah, even got an extra Santoro set, huh? Yeah. Nice. So nice. A lot more well, we got a lot of quality content. We got as many people through the doors, I think, as we've ever seen. Um, not counting trade nights, which are insane by themselves, but. From 11 a.m., we just closed at 7, getting everyone out. It was just awesome. It was awesome. People having fun, people just enjoying themselves in the store, meeting new people, and go meet the card daughter and the card mother over at Wood Ranch, grab a bite, and call it a night. Card father, out.